This video is how to copy, paste, and then use the transform tool on Metabang. It also applies to Fire Alpaca. So before you use copy and paste, and to copy you're going to go up to edit. You want to make sure whatever you want to copy is all in the same folder or all in the same layer. So then you're going to go up to edit, click copy, and paste, and it should create a new layer with what you want on it. I did an I because I think that's the most common thing people want to have to, people want to be able to copy. Since it can be really hard to draw, draw an eye that matches the other one. If you want, you can name that layer and then move it over, but this doesn't look right because they're both facing the same way. Then, since it's on its own layer, you wouldn't have to you could just transform it without having to select it. But if they were on the same layer, or if what you wanted to copy was on a layer with something else, like, let's say, just hide this for a minute. Let's say that I drew other things on the same layer. Oh, that's an awful nose. Yeah, it's better. There were other things in this folder. I would want to select the eye. I can use a rectangular selecting tool. I could use this. Pretty much any selection tool work. Except I don't think the magic wand tool applies here. Use pen selection. And then you would just go through the same steps to use copy and paste, because then it would only copy and paste what you'd selected. I'll just leave the nose there. And then Onto this, it doesn't look right unless, yeah, it doesn't look right. So you'll select transform. Now, if you're just using the transform stuff, then it's just making it bigger and smaller and that's not really doing anything for you. So what you wanna do is press command and then go over here. And then you can change it and mess with it that way. And you want it to be somewhat symmetrical, even though that can be hard. But once you've got it where you want it, it's better. Or I space it, I face it spacing away. Then you're good. You have to go down here and click OK, or it won't save it. And there are three options, nearest neighbor, which makes it kind of weird looking, sharp. I can't really see the difference with this, but normally it makes a big difference. Or smooth. Most people, I think, go with smooth. Click OK, and it saves it, and then you've got it. And that's it. And then if you wanted to cut it, if you'd chosen cut, it would have taken it off of the layer it was on and put it on a new layer, and it wouldn't be on the same layer anymore. So you could do that if you accidentally, if you wanted the nose and the eye on two different layers, but you accidentally drew them in the same layer, then you would select it, cut, paste, and then it would be on its own layer. And that's it, except transform. This grows and shrinks it. This makes it smaller that way, and then bigger, it, it compresses it. And then this shrinks it down, compresses it the other way. And then if you press command, then it kind of stretches it. I'm not exactly sure what the right word for that is. Either way, this rotates it. Press command, um, it does the same thing there where you can flip it. Now it's all messed up. <laughs> um, Okay, I don't know why it's all weird now. Okay. Just avoid the command tool. But for command, that's command is mainly just for shifting it like that. Unless your photo, you like need to edit the shape or something. Ah, I don't know why it's doing that. That's so weird. Whatever. You probably won't need to use the others much, but 
that's it. One eye is slightly smaller, but it's because her face is facing away. And then you can... See? Now it's good. So if that happens to you and you can't make it grow or shrink anymore, just save it and then... Or just don't even save it. Just start over. But you would just click cancel and then go back and transform it again. And that's it. Thanks for watching.